Welcome back to Floyd's Horse Racing Channel. Are you looking for data driven horse racing tips in the UK? Well, today we have seven selections altogether. No, uh, no, six of them are over 10 or higher. So, very good odds today. But before we get to that, let's look at what we had yesterday. So, we had 10 selections altogether. One was a non runner. And two of them won. So, as you can see, the Jiggins Town King won at 11.58, which is a nice bit of profit. So, that just made profit for the whole day. And then we also had a um, winner here. I don't know how to say it's Terrafima with 4.8. So, we made roughly around 5 points profit. So that was good, and our uh, times addition was very close to coming first. He lost by a shoulder, so that was okay. And then Fox Avatar was third. Uh, the other ones not really performed well, but the odds were way too high, so it would make sense that it would be quite rare. Okay, so as you can see, we have seven selections altogether. Four of them are from All Weather, and two from Flat, and one from Chase. Okay, so let's get started. So the first one is from Sandown, 225. This is what we have on our model, so we'll take that. Next one is from Newton Chase 320. 8.6, and we have 7 on the model, so we'll take that. 2 from Linkfield. Blue Anthem, 18.5, which is what we have, so we'll take that. And 7.25, and this is the Outsider, 13, so we'll take that. Next one is from Charister, first race of the day. Uterdance, which is an outsider with 32, plus that we had 29. And the last two are from Glamsford. This should be 12. Outreach, 19.5, and there was 19. Okay, so those were all the selections for today. Okay, so, I don't, let me show you. Okay, so, in my normal model, I have a, a column for a sharp ratio, which basically, if you want to Google it, you can find like a better explanation of it, but it basically helps you understand if uh, investment or anything like that along those lines is risk-free or not. And it's a good way of seeing if it's consistent too. So for some reason, like it never occurred to me to do this for the best that we do already, but I, I did it for just like the ranked ones and you can tell like you can see that it's like just betting on ranked one there's no consistency at all in it however like i done all the codes for it for all the probability best that we do the ranked ones and uh, expected value and all that kind of stuff so i updated all those so i need to 
I'm going to spend today. So this is like a good like example, just sort of off the top of my head. This is 5% probability uh, shop value, which is decent. Then this is something that we should be betting on, because or even like this is better, because if you look at it, it's 10%. And you make more profit for the number of bets you have, so it's more consistent. So I need to go through my all my data, update the filters. I'll probably do this either today or maybe tomorrow. No, I think I'll do it for tomorrow. So I'll put the uh, the updated link into the one that we already use. So this one. So I'll update this with the new one. And I think I'm also adding a few columns to it, so I might do like a video on like what I'm doing while I'm doing it, which will make it easier to understand. But yeah, so I think that's the next update because I think I want to do it for the new month just to see how like how much better it is because this, this thing is always improving. Like I'm learning so much as I'm like moving, doing this every day. We'll get there at some point, but yeah, remember. My models are not that good at the moment, but they're getting better. Just like a lot of filters that you need to find profit in. And always remember to bet what you can afford to lose. Okay, that wraps up for today. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up or even subscribing if you want to for more daily tips. If you have any ideas about any of the filters or if you want to talk about like the data science behind like the models please leave me a comment below or message me on twitter or access is called now yeah thank you bye